And as you're over in the north stand today, normally housed in the south, so opposite end of the stadium. Oh, it's a wonderful start for Rangers! And for Kieran Dixon, who sweeps home a majestic opener to light up the Youth Cup final. What about that? Wow, simply sensational, Liam. And do you know what, the set play, I'm not too sure it's something they worked on. I think the ball was played in and eventually it ends up at Kieran Dixon. I tell you what, it's all about the first touch, it's all about his composure. You sit there, just a nice first touch. There's too many bodies in front of Liam Hughes. He can't say it properly, but wow. It's all about composure, all about the finish, and the dreams start in the Youth Cup final for Rangers. It doesn't matter what Kieran Dixon goes on to do in his footballing career. He will never, ever forget that. What a finish. We saw Steven Gerrard, the Rangers' first team manager, looking down. He'd have been proud of that. What an outstanding goal, and Rangers score early. We were expecting goals. One arrives in double quick time. Rangers free kick. And that's certainly a way to settle the nerves for anybody. Getting the first goal. I see David McCallum, the manager, was having a word. Compose yourself, boys. It's still the early part of the game, but you're right, Liam. Such a big game for these kids. Such a big occasion. Something they'll always remember. And they'll remember it even more if they can get a winner's medal. Another opportunity perhaps here. Oh, a little decoy there. There's number two! Wow! Tapo Mehude! Rangers double their lead! Six minutes only played! And it's the stuff of dreams for these young Rangers players. It's a phenomenal start. The first goal may not have been worked on from the corner kick, but this set play certainly was. The dummy initially caught Celtic out. They switched themselves off, and then it's about Mbude. It's all about hitting the ball, striking the ball well enough, and Celtic can't cover. They don't deal with the first ball in. Kyle McClellan gets a good, strong header. And you talk about a test of character, you talk about resilience. The Celtic players are going to have to pick themselves up as the Rangers players are in dreamland. Aren't they just? Well, to his left. Now it is Dembele. Celtic attacking the East Stand in the second half. This is a very promising opening for them! Start to the second half for Celtic. It is very much game on again at the National Stadium. The American Cameron Harper brings them right back into it. And it's game on, but it's all about Dembele in the middle of the pitch. Kai Kennedy can't stop him going through. Then it's about the composure. Harper has carried the fight to Rangers in that first half. He's allowed to come inside. McClellan doesn't show him outside, allows him in on his left foot. He opens a goal up for himself. And as I've just said, it's game on. That's a lovely goal. And we've seen a few of those tonight now. That certainly breathed life back into this Youth Cup final. And it's Harper again. And it he was taken from him. Yes, he did. Two goals in the opening six minutes of the first half for Rangers. Celtic score in the opening 90 seconds of the second half. And he's been a handful, Cameron Harper. He's been running behind. He's took the ball on defeat. It's a big four or five minutes for Rangers. Once you concede, you want to make sure you stay firm and don't concede a second one very quick. Another big chance. Oh, where's that going? It's going into the net. Absolutely astonishing! Wow! How on earth did that go in? Kennedy's shot has somehow found the bottom right corner, and within three minutes of the second half, it is all square! It's so unlucky. 
for Buddy Makers. First half, he had a couple of good saves. There's not much he can do about that. It's actually a poorly hit free kick, but a huge deflection off in Buddy. Almost mirror image of Rangers in the first half. They score and they get their second very, very quickly. Now it's about regaining your composure for Rangers. Paul Kenny. Chance for Rangers here to get their lead back, which they do. Young Grooms heads home. Rangers hit the front again. And it's the simplest of goals. That will be infuriating for Celtic. They've conceded three goals from set plays. The credit must go to Rangers for working on their set plays, for putting the ball into the area. That's all it is. It's a clever little ball in. And Nathan Young Coombs gets across the front of Dylan Forrest, who can't cope. And it's a powerful header. And Rangers are back in front. Really well taken by Nathan Young Coombs, former Chelsea youth player. Nodding home. Celtic 2, Rangers 3 in the 2019 Youth Cup final. <laughs> He's been sent back by the referee's assistant. Even then, he's still going to give he's himself an extra, was, five, yeah. Yeah, an extra five or six yards. But overall, I think both managers will be proud of their players. Celtic, it looks like, will be disappointed, but both managers really pleased with the courage that players have shown tonight. Tired, looking long ball effort from Chris McQueen. just about do it it's all over Rangers have won the 2019 Scottish Youth Cup by three goals to two it's their first triumph since 2014 and the first time they've got the better of their neighbours and rivals Celtic He's just checking to make sure everyone's there. Looking across, it looks as though they are. And tonight, Rangers celebrate this Youth Cup triumph. They will never, ever forget it. They'll be hoping the first of many, that's for sure. And the, the contrast and emotions couldn't be further apart, Liam, could they, on a night like this? Ah, despondency for the, the Celtic players. Elation for the Rangers players. We'll be back with you tomorrow with our championship coverage. Ross County, Queen of the South. And Stephen Gerrard smiles. And he